So, it's about time to upgrade your router and you want to take advantage of the latest Wi-Fi 7 technology, but you're kind of unsure where to start. Well folks, don't worry. We have just reviewed over 25 of the highest rated models to give you the best Wi-Fi 7 routers right now. Hey folks, I'm Jim with Techie Tech News, and it's our mission to present you with the best models available and to give you all the why so that you can make an informed decision. And don't worry, I've added links to all of these products listed in the video description box below. Techie Tech News, engage! Netgear Nighthawk RS700S – Best Small Office Wi-Fi 7 Router the Netgear Nighthawk RS700S is an ambitious flagship Wi-Fi 7 router that pushes high-end performance boundaries while still showing signs of early generation growing pains. It delivers impressive throughput across its tri-band architecture, especially in the medium-range real-world scenario. Netgear's design choices lend to a sleek, vertical form factor that helps with 360-degree signal propagation. The setup process via app or web UI is intuitive, and there's plenty of configurability for power users. That said, some advanced Wi-Fi 7 features like multi-link operation are still pending full firmware support. A number of users have reported occasional instability or device connectivity quirks, particularly in the 2.4 GHz band. Now the price tag here is premium, and its subscription-based security add-ons may put more budget-cautious buyers at bay. But overall, the entire platform screams small office support and accommodations, making it perfect for small businesses that need router solutions. And moving on to our pros and cons, we really like its real-world mid-range performance output, its excellent feature set and configuration flexibility, and its dual 10 gigabit per second multi-gig wired support. But its high performance and features come at a very high price. Software support seems to be slow to roll out, and its extra features do come at a cost of subscription models. So what's our overall conclusion of this model? Well, if your business needs a little more oomph and power, the Nighthawk RS700S is just the router that you could use. It really is well equipped to handle your specific needs and are perfect for businesses who need a robust router platform. And in the future, if you need to find more tech deals, simply visit techytechdeals.com. Asus ROG Rapture GTBE98 Pro – Best Gaming Wi-Fi 7 Router The Asus ROG Rapture GTBE98 Pro is an extreme quad-band Wi-Fi 7 gaming router aimed squarely at power users and gaming enthusiasts alike. Its hardware is packed with future-proof features, including dual 10 gigabit ports, multi 2.5 gigabit ports, and extensive antenna arrays, along with RGB styling, making it a bold centerpiece for high-end networks. Now, in real-world testing, it delivers sustained multi gigabit throughputs when used with Wi-Fi 7 clients, and holds up well across 6 gigahertz bands. The firmware and feature sets are rich, offering deep customization, gaming QoS, VPN fusion, AI mesh support, and more. Still, early firmware and stability issues are frequently mentioned by users, especially around the MLO, 6 GHz band behavior, and its 2.4 GHz reliability. Now, the router is physically large and may be harder to accommodate in compact spaces. But overall, this unit is an absolute beast, sitting at the bleeding edge of what is capable, innovative, and it's totally awesome. Now, as we move on to its pros and cons, we like its exceptional performance in the Wi-Fi 7 figures. It's not required to have a subscription for security features, and its rich gaming-focused feature set, but it is extremely expensive to purchase. Some Macs may experience filtering issues or forgetting passwords, and the unit itself is quite large, making placement a challenge for some. And as we move on to our conclusion, the Rapture GTB 98 Pro stands as a showcase of what Wi-Fi 7 and next-gen home networking could look like, with aggressive specs, deep feature sets, and wired wireless bandwidth to spare. For enthusiasts, gamers, and users with multi-gig service or serious internal networking needs, this model offers you a tremendous upside. TP-Link Deco BE63 Mesh System – Best Home Mesh Wi-Fi 7 Router the TP-Link Deco BE63 positions itself as a reliable entry into Wi-Fi 7 mesh networking, offering excellent value relative to its peers. In close-range and mid-range testing, it delivers strong throughput on 6GHz and 5GHz, putting it ahead of many older systems. 
Its quad 2.5 gigabits per second ethernet ports per node provide serious wired backbone flexibility. Setup and daily management are streamlined via the Deco mobile app, making it user-friendly for the non-experts. However, its 2.4 GHz band performance does lag behind its competitors, which may affect IoT or legacy device connectivity. Some users report occasional dropouts, node instability, or firmware issues, especially with older hardware revisions. Now, mesh node handoff, aka roaming, can sometimes be imperfect, causing brief interruptions in certain devices. Still, for many homes, it strikes as a compelling balance for modern features and performance. And as we move on to pros and cons, we like its strong 5 to 6 GHz performance in real world scenarios. It comes with an easy app-based management system, and it's backwards compatibility with older Wi-Fi generations. However, its 2.4 GHz band has relatively weak throughput. Roaming handoff between nodes can show momentary lag, and it doesn't come with a 10 gigabits per second port for ultra-high bandwidth. So what's our conclusion on this model? Well, the Deco BE63 is a very strong contender for homeowners who want to step into the Wi-Fi 7 mesh system and want a super reliable setup. Now, this offers a rare combination of multi-gig wired capability, solid wireless real-world performance, and ease of use. TP-Link Archer BE230 – Best Budget Wi-Fi 7 Router the TP-Link Archer BE230 is a surprisingly affordable doorway into the Wi-Fi 7 network, delivering a mix of modern features without a sky-high price tag. It offers dual-band performance with combined throughput up to 3.6 gigabits per second in ideal conditions. The router includes dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports along with 3 gigabyte LAN ports and a USB 3.0 port which gives you strong wired backbone flexibility. Its support for multi-link operation, 4K QAM, Easy Mesh, and TP-Link's Home Shield security features adds to the appeal. In real-world use, it handles typical streaming, gaming, and multitasking workflows well, especially at moderate ranges. However, there is an absence of a 6 gigabit band, meaning you can't tap into those less congested spectrums that Wi-Fi 6E and 7 routers do offer. Now, some users report issues with the 5 gigahertz connectivity or app firmware stability problems in certain setups, but all told, it is a budget-minded Wi-Fi 7 option with trade-offs, best suited for users who want many modern features without needing maximum high-end performance. And as we move on to the pros and cons, we really like the value you get here for it being a proper Wi-Fi 7 router. Its support for MLO, 4K QAM, and Easy Mesh, and its decent coverage and signal strength for its price. But it lacks a 6 GHz band. Its app or web interface may be limited for more in-depth setups, and advanced security features are locked behind the Home Shield subscription base. So what's our overall conclusion here? Well, the Archer BE230 is a compelling option if you want to get into Wi-Fi 7 without having to pay flagship prices, and if you don't really need to be in the 6 GHz spectrum. Its rich and wired options supports modern Wi-Fi 7 technologies like MLO and generally performs well in typical home environments. And for its price, it's an absolute steal. TP-Link Archer BE550 – Best Overall Wi-Fi 7 Router the TP-Link Archer BE550 is a bold entry into the tri-band Wi-Fi 7 router class, aiming to combine blazing throughput with multi-gig wired flexibility. It supports speeds up to 9.2 gigabits per second, split across its 6, 5, and 2.4 gigahertz band. It comes with a 2.5 gigabits per second WAN port plus four other 2.5 gigabits per second LAN ports to eliminate traditional gigabit bottlenecks. Its six internal antennas and beam forming are meant to provide wide coverage and better signal consistency. The BE550 is easy mesh compatible, allowing for network expansions if dead zones appear. In real world use, it handles heavy loads like streaming, gaming, and many connected devices very well, especially close up to the router. However, performance does drop off towards the edges of large homes, and some users report firmware instability or the occasional connectivity hangup. Design-wise, it is a bit bulky, and some premium features like parental controls and advanced security are tied to subscriptions. But all being told, it's a powerful and future-minded router that we would recommend to everybody in mass, as we feel that it has the feature set and performance that most households would want. And as we move on to our pros and cons, we really like the high throughput of all three bands. 
its easy mesh compatibility for extended range, and its excellent load distribution to maximize performance. However, performance can drag when trying to clear through thick walls. Its bulky size can make placement a bit of an issue, and some features are locked behind the home shield paywall. So what's our overall conclusion here? Well, we think the Archer BE550 is a highly compelling choice for users who want to step into the full tri-band Wi-Fi 7 range, especially if your wired setups already lean towards multi-gig speeds. It has a ton of features here to make it completely future-proof, securing your investment for the next 10 years. But overall, it delivers everything in spades, and for the price, it's just hard to beat. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comment section below and I will personally assist you. And also remember that Amazon has an excellent return policy to help you minimize the risk. And as always, please let us know which Wi-Fi 7 router you would choose. Again, links to all of these items are posted in the video description box below. And guys, when you're done, you gotta check out the next video.